Siri, turn that down. Hey, Rubies. Welcome back to More Than Rubies with your girl, Tia Moore. I am she, the Tia Moore, and today we are continuing with our I Am series. <laughs> It is a weekly declaration where you will have a specific word and a verse that you can meditate on for the week. And hopefully it will give you ammo to combat every lie that the enemy is trying to bring up against you. I think this week's word is very relevant. Uh, have you ever been in a gym class and uh, there's somebody, two teams, and there's a team captain for each, and the team captain is able to choose um, his teammates. And of course, we never, nobody ever wants to be that person who's chosen last. Well, this week, I want you to say with me, I am chosen. The team captain, the ultimate captain, the captain of my ship, God has chosen me. So this week, our word is chosen. And according to Miriam Dictionary, chosen means one who is the object of choice of divine favor. Come on, favor. Or an elect person or selected or marked for favor or special privilege. Listen, God has marked you. He has ordained you for such a time as this. And the very fact that we have been chosen by God, we are his image bearers. Let me give you this week's scripture. It is coming from John 15 and 16. And it reads, uh, this is the NLT version. No, I'm sorry, the NIV version. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit fruit that will last. And so whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Before we go asking for anything, we need to understand that God has chosen us and he's appointed us so that we might bear his fruit. And you like his fruit. What is that? I'm glad you asked. Let me give you the nine fruits of the spirit. They are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Okay, so when you out here ready to pop off every five minutes going from zero to 100 real quick, you know that you are definitely not exuding the fruits of the Spirit. And to me, the fruits of the Spirit are an internal work. Um, you have to love from the inside. You have joy from the inside, peace patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control all on the inside. And that's a matter of the heart. And as you develop these, you um, are able to overflow with them and spill them out to upbuild the kingdom. Being chosen, just like when you pick fruit, it has to go through a process. Um, it's not a it's not a matter of just, oh, I want an orange, so I'm just going to get an orange. No, there has to be a seed planted. It has to water. It's a process that it has to go through. And just like with us, God, yes, he called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. But we all have a process to go through. So, sis, if you are not where you need to be today, you still have time. Now, you don't have all the time in the world, but you can make the choice today to change your heart to start living out those fruits of the spirit as you bear his image. And just understand that you are chosen. You are chosen by God. The past weeks, the other two words we have had were I am qualified and I am called. This word goes just right along with it. You have been called, you have been chosen, and you have been qualified all by the head captain, the the God of the universe not and we're not saying the god of this world because we know that's the enemy but the god of the universe who has all power in his hands and it's up to us 
to make the choice daily to choose him. He chose us already. Now it's time for us to choose him. So sis, if you have not made that choice, if you know there's some areas in your life where you feel like you need to change, today is a perfect day. It is Monday. It's a new week. You have goals set, I'm sure. And it's just a new opportunity for life, a new opportunity to get things in order in your life. So if we could just bow your head, I just want to say a word of encouragement, a word of prayer, and I will leave you to have an awesome, amazing week. So Father God, I thank you for the daughters and even the sons that are listening right now, Father God. I pray that they will understand the fruits of the Spirit, God, which is your Spirit. Father God, I pray that they understand that they have been chosen, God. They have been hand-selected by you, Father God. And I pray that they understand even though there are times, God, when we don't choose you, Father God, your grace and your mercy is sufficient to allow us to come back, Father God. You are standing there with open arms. So today, Father God, I pray that you will bless each and every listener, God, that is tuning in. Father God, and I pray that they will understand, God, that you will chase them down and show them just how much you have chosen them and how much you have loved them. Father, I will be careful to give your name praise, glory, and honor because you are so worthy. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Well, Rubies, thank you so much for tuning in this week. Before we go, I want you to say right now, I am chosen. Rehearse that over in your head. Meditate on that scripture and just go out with a holy boldness. Go out with intentionality. Make sure everything you do, that it is done on purpose. And I want you to have a great week. And I hope you have truly enjoyed the I am series. If you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the More Than Ruby's channel. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell and just comment down below. I am chosen. Make that declaration over your life. Also, head over to Instagram at I am more underscore underscore. Follow us, sis. We will follow you back. Uh, you will get daily inspiration over there some videos, some funny stories, all the good stuff, sis. Then also go over to our ministry page at IamMore.net. There you can sign up for our weekly blog and you can stay up to date on what we have going on in the ministry. Until next time, talk to you later, Ruby.